So I think someone at 343 left the faucet running because the leaks have been insane since the drop of co-op flighting for Halo Infinite. And this video is going to cover all the leaks that you've been seeing around, not just one here or there, everything that's happened, kind of accumulated all together into one video. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button and let's get right into those details. This first leak here has definitely been on the minds of a lot of people. I've been going around a lot, but look at this. This is the DMR returning into Halo Infinite, but it's not called the DMR, it's called the Bandit Rifle. Even if you zoom in on the name right here, it does say Bandit on it, which is quite interesting. And we did cover previous leaks on the channel as well about the DMR, but this DMR right here, you can definitely see is quite different. This is like the Halo 5 version of the DMR that's been found in the now next narrative event, kind of live service -y kind of area for the Academy. So the DMR in Halo Infinite, the Bandit Rifle, looks much more like the Halo Reach version of the DMR. So it is curious because one key feature is missing from the DMR and that is that traditional scope that we've had on it previously. Now with the way a lot of scoped weapons work in Halo 3, you're not really like aiming down the sights like you did in Halo 5, so I don't think this is going to be too much of an issue. As most of the scoped weapons use a smart link type of thing like we do with the battle rifle, right? But of course, once we get some more information about the Bandit Rifle coming into Halo Infinite, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. I would assume for this to be Season 3, as Season 3 did say there are going to be new sandbox items, which we'll cover in this video as well. And now, the Forge Leaks, and there are a ton of Forge Leaks. People have found ways to hack their way into Forge and get a chance to play around with it quite a bit. A lot of videos have been going around. We have stuff I'm going to show you guys here about all the weapons that are going to be within Forge, custom power-ups, environmental lighting, material changes, welding, which is now like a true feature within Forge forge as well texture blending and a bunch of other stuff so let's just dive right into it first thing i'm going to show you guys here is one the leaks that i talked about in my previous video before the launch of co-op did become real they are real these are the different environments that we found within forge here so these are actual canvases that you can jump in and forge on this does coincide with a leak that i talked about previously about there being like six or nine different canvases involved with halo infinite but does the confirmation of the canvas leaks also coincide with the 16 multiplayer maps that were mentioned and the pve mode of extraction well I'll have to wait and see. If you don't know what I'm talking about, for more clarification, check out the videos on the screen right here, guys. This is a link to my video that's on the channel right now. You can go back and watch for all the details. This link here, brought to you by Delta Index, showcases all the weapons that are currently available within the hacked in version of Forge. Now, I looked through all these weapons. There really isn't anything new besides these scrap cans you can see right here. We also have all the different weapon variants you can find within the campaign and also in some of the game files as well. But I don't actually don't see the DMR in this lineup right here. We do see a uh, bigger Redemptive Sword, which is pretty sweet looking. Uh, but everything else looks pretty standard. And if not anything else on top of that, it's just going to be like the weapon variant. Next in Forge, it looks like you'll be able to put together your own custom power up or equipment. This is what it looks like in game right here. I've got a little kind of like a forge hammer kind of thing on top of it right there. In Halo 5, there was a really cool feature where you found ways to kind of meld different types of equipment and also power ups together to do some really crazy things. It looks like that now is a true feature within Halo Infinite's Forge rather than the kind of a roundabout glitchy kind of way they did it in Halo 5. This next leak here showcases how you can change the environments of Halo Infinite. We've seen it kind of leaked out previously, like on Bizarre, where it's a really dark version of the map. Uh, you can do the same thing pretty much in any kind of map as well, which really changes the mood of it and actually has it being like actually dark, not like a tint of blue like we've seen previous games do. Like this is actual darkness that you can create within these maps, which will definitely be incredible when it comes to infection for sure to help kind of create some visual cover for those zombies running around. It's also just really cool environments that people can kind of work around in and play around in and kind of create something really unique and new that we haven't really been able to play around with a whole lot within Halo's Forge previously, but this is a really awesome feature. Again, these are all just like rudimentary, like, okay, yeah, you can change the lighting, whatever, but this does affect the game greatly, where like, if you kind of, you know, test around with it, play around with it a little bit more, you can create something really special. This next leak here showcases texture swapping, where basically you just kind of swap through all the different kind of textures you want for your map, which is quite exciting right here. Now, I don't know if they can change out the patterns or just the textures, but we we'll see what happens with that. Obviously, I'm not a huge forger, but this is incredible stuff to see like how easy it is to just change the aesthetic of a map on the click of a button. Previously in Forge, you had to just basically completely redo the map, which obviously 
not that great of experience, but definitely Halo Infinite's Forge has been created an evolution from Halo 5's Forge to where this is just gonna be really exciting step to see what the community helps create. And definitely bring a lot more maps into Halo Infinite as well, which definitely are much needed. And this will also help out with just like basically just content in general. This is gonna be amazing. Just for funsies here, we see that there is a Banshee welded with a saber, which is kind of just weird, funny wackiness, which previously had to be kind of glitched in Halo 5. Now is an actual true feature you can do with a lot of these things right here. obviously this is kind of janky just kind of weird playing around stuff but hey you can also just have fun in forge too which is also really great and it looks like you might be able to blend textures which is definitely a brand new feature for halo infinite as this redditor said small sh showcase of some materials i blended using asphalt and dirt a with 0.9 grime and zero wear on it and you can see this is what they put together so apparently you can kind of blend different textures together to get some really unique aspects of it which would be obviously incredible when it comes to creating your maps next we have what is referred to as a shroud screen which is quite interesting this is a unsc bit of equipment here so this is not gonna be anything like forerunner or branch or anything like that but this is all we have right now. This is a kind of a 3D render from Star Asia, which we've who we've talked about previously on the channel here. Definitely a credible source. This is probably gonna be a new piece of equipment coming in with season three, would be my guess for how modeled out it is. And also we did get promised a new sandbox times like we're coming in. Now with the name Shroud Screen, I would probably think this might be some kind of form of like a smoke grenade, if you want to call it that in a way, where you can just kind of shoot off and kind of create like a bit of a visual distortion to kind of create some cover, maybe traverse the map in some way, which is definitely a new aspect of equipment we do not have right now in Halo Infinite, which would be a really great feature to maybe for like, you know, capture the flag, or maybe when it comes to King of the Hill, or maybe even just oddball, or just there's multiple ways you can use like a smoke screen or something some kind of screen type of equipment to kind of conceal your location this is going to be very useful now this isn't going to be as crazy but a huge quality of life improvement on this one guys flamesword brought up that there is going to be a report button i mean in game so if you come across any cheaters you just go to the name tap report then they'll get checked out by 343 this is a huge step forward when it comes to creating more secure games so where you don't have to deal with cheaters and now this next section isn't a leak but a very important aspect of the next narrative event coming on the 19th here guys and this looks like fred from blue team 104 might be taking part of this next narrative event here guys this was recently tweeted out by the halo page themselves Talking about the Morgan helmet here, which just, you know, just a helmet to me at first, what it looked like. And then it said right here in red saying, Morgan is a good choice, Spartan. It asks a lot about how reliable this alien tech is. So I'll tell them that 104 tested the prototype himself. You don't know who 104 is? It is the mad lad himself. Fred from Blue Team. So will he be involved with the narrative event? We don't quite know for sure, but there is some aspect that his name was at least mentioned and tested out this helmet, which I'm guessing that this helmet now, the Morgan helmet, will be supposed to be kind of based off of Fred's helmet, which would definitely be pretty awesome to have some Blue Team pieces of equipment, being able to have your bit of your customization. I'm all for that. And of course, the Lord Daddy himself, he recognized this as a bit of concept art, which I believe was from Halo 5, which was kind of the initial idea of what Fred's helmet would look like. And you can see there are some similarities here when it comes to the helmet that we we're beginning for the Rakshasa core right here. But this is some early concept art of Fred's armor, which, I mean, come on. This looks amazing. So if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this place. We're here going to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And catch you on the next one. Peace out.